Hello, I'm Mr. Gale, and this is a worked example for AER annual equivalent rate. Let's have a look at the question. Barney opened a savings account on the 1st of May 2020, investing £4,800. He checks his savings account and sees the following table of all transactions up to the 1st of July. And then there's a table. We're asked to calculate the nominal annual interest rate and calculate the AER the account was paying. So first up, we probably want to pause this, have a look at the table, reread the question, and then we'll see what's going on. So do that now. OK, so uh, there's quite a lot going on. You can see that at the end of the first month, May, then £36 is paid into the account. And you can see that at the end of the next month, end of June, £36.27 pence is added into the account. So let's have a look in more detail. Part A asks us to calculate the nominal annual interest rate. So it's worth bearing in mind, or if you can remember, that the nominal rate is whatever it's being, you're being told the nominal rate is, you divide that by how many compounding periods there are and, and that is the percentage that gets increased by each compounding period. It's a lot to take in. AER is pretty complicated, but this is a percentages thing. So we need to work out two things. How often is it being compounded? Well, it doesn't explicitly tell us this, but given that uh, interest was paid at the end of each month, it's reasonable to assume that the compounding periods are monthly. Another thing we want to know is what percentage is it increasing by each month? So we can definitely do that. Looking at the first end of the first month, it's increased by £36. Easy to see that in the table. And it was 4800 so percentage change. The, the change, or the increase in this case, divided by the original amount times 100. That comes out as a 0.75% increase increase. You could do it for the, the one in June, do the 36.27 divided by 4,836 and then times 100, but you get the same answer. So it's increasing by 0.75% each month. Now, bear in mind that the nominal rate, whatever it was claimed, would have been divided by 12, the compounding periods, and we know that this comes out as 0.75. We just worked that out. So we can multiply those two things together. 0.75 times 12 will tell us that the nominal rate would be 9%. Right, part B. Calculate the AER the account was paying. This is actually a little bit easier than part A, I think. We're going to use the AER formula, where R, the AER, is equal to 1 plus I, the nominal rate, divided by the compounding periods to the power of the compounding periods, minus one, where i and r are given as decimals. Well, the reason this is part b, because we've just worked out i. We know that i is 0.09. It was 9%. Remember, you have to write it as a decimal for this. n is 12, because there are 12 compounding periods in the year. And then we just plug those into the formula. So i is 0.09. Both of the ends get replaced with 12. You can just type that into a calculator. And we get that R, so the AER is 0.093806. There were more numbers after this. Two decimal places seems reasonable. So as a percentage, that is 9.38%. If you're a teacher, you might want to see more of my resources that are available on the TES. If you follow me on Twitter as well, you can find links to these more of these videos as well.